great to be praised. Yes, sir. And we come this morning to worship the true and living God. And as we come, praise the Lord, we are, if you're able to stand, let us stand for a call to worship. The call to worship is coming from Psalm 145, verses 1 through 3. And it reads, I will extol thee, my God, O King. I will bless thy name forever and ever. Yes, Lord. Every day I will bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly yes, Lord. to be praised. Yes, Lord. And his greatness yes. is unsearchable. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And you all join in with the opening song, Glory to His Name. sing our prayer song, Jesus, keep me near the cross, and after the song, we be led in prayer in Jesus' name.
Thank you for the many blessings you have stored upon us. Lord, we thank you this morning for life, health, and strength. Lord, we thank you how you allow us to come into your presence, Lord. And right now, we want you to come into our presence. Let us feel your power. Let us feel your Holy Spirit this morning. Lord, as we come to worship, hallelujah, let a word be said unto this morning, Lord, that has comfort our hearts, comfort our souls. Hallelujah. Lord, that we know and realize that you, it's you, Lord. It is you that touch us. It is you that heal us. It is you, hallelujah, that bless us so many times. And so, Lord, we're so glad to see our pastor in the house of prayer this morning. Lord, you show your work, hallelujah, by touching his body. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Healing him and bring him, hallelujah, in the house of prayer. Oh, bless him in a mighty way, oh, Lord God. Bless all the saints that are here right now under the sound of my voice. And Lord, the messenger this morning, bless him. Hallelujah. Give him what he needed to give unto your people, O Lord God. And for this, O Lord, we ever give your name the praise, the glory and an honor. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. this time, praise the Lord, we want you to look with us for our scripture reading, and our scripture reading will be taken from the book of Acts, a very familiar passage of scripture, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, and beginning at verse 36. Acts chapter 2, verse 36, and it reads, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know surely that God has made this same Jesus, whom you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter, and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sin. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises unto you, and to your children, and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this underworld generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, 
And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfast in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in the breaking of bread and in prayers. And the fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men, as every man had need. And they continued daily with one accord in the temple and breaking of bread from house to house and did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Praising God and having favor with all people and the Lord added to the church daily as such should be saved. Amen. We thank and praise God for the reading of his word. Amen. May he sanctify it in our hearts and minds in Jesus' name. Amen. So now we come to the most important part of our service, which is the preaching and teaching of the word of God. But before the word comes, we have a song of praise. Amen. And after the song of praise, the next voice you'll be hearing is that of Brother Derek James with the living word of God. Let us save the song and the minister for the hour by the saying, Amen. Amen again. How many of you are glad of the blood this morning? How many of you are glad for the blood this morning? Come on, help me sing this little part of the song. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. 
Come on, everybody, help me say it. Jesus died upon, died upon the, cross. the cross, and I know no, it was the blood, blood for me. We well, need help. One more time. I know no, it was. Come on, put your hand together, everybody. Oh, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Come on. He's coming back again for me. Oh, one day when I was lost, oh, he died upon the cross. I know I know it was the blood. Oh, oh, he's coming back again.
all say praise the Lord. Praise Let us say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's an old song that Sister Priesta wrote um, from Charlotte, North Carolina, and it says, The Apostolic Way. Amen. Amen. This is the way God said to seek and find. Mm -hmm. And when you find it, walk therein. Oh, this way is righteous, is sanctified, and is clean. This is the apostolic way. Now, this is what you all say, apostolic. Apostolic, apostolic. The one, the only way. One Lord, baptism, and one faith. Ah, this way is righteous, is sanctified, and is clean. Oh, Lord, this is the apostolic way. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We honor the Lord on this morning, and we thank and praise God for our pastor being in the house of God on this morning. Oh, Lord. I, I, hallelujah. We thank and praise God for that in a special way. Amen. Amen. You know, you don't miss your water until your well runs dry, but I thank God our well is not dry. Amen. But we still missed our water. <laughs> we praise God for him. And we also want to praise God for his wife who uh, gave us our music while he was out. Let's give the amen. Amen. God bless this church with great talent. And we thank and praise God for it in a special way. We thank and praise God for all of you in your respective places. Our minister Washington, our deacons, those of you that are present. And we just praise God for being saved on the day. Amen. And not only being saved, but knowing that we are saved according to the word of God. Amen. So we're not going to hold you long on today. We've got quite a bit to do, but we want you to follow along with us. And if you would turn with us to the book of Acts, the second chapter. Start with verse 36. Verse 36 says, and we heard the scripture read this morning, just going to read a portion of it. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know surely that God has made that same Jesus. Amen. Somebody said that same Jesus. Amen. Whom you've crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts. And said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. And ye shall. Everybody say, ye shall. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Turn with me to Revelation. Chapter 3, and verse number 3, Revelations chapter 3, just making a connection here with this scripture. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Woo! Amen. I will, the subject for this morning, what must I do to be saved? Amen. What must I do to be saved? One of the first sermons... I heard preach in this church was entitled, What Must I Do to Be Saved? The first time I heard the message, I was ready to argue. 
I said, like so many people often say, I'd rather obey Jesus than do what Jesus said versus what Peter said. And what Peter said in the book, in the Acts of the Apostles. But thank God my understanding was open. Once my understanding of the gospel was open, there was no more conflict. <laughs> and I thank God that was some 34 years ago. And I'm still standing on the word of God. My prayer today is that somebody have their understanding open and come to the Lord on the terms of the gospel. When I first got saved, I remember testimony services. Saints would stand, and the first thing they would say is, I thank God for being in the truth. And I want to know today, how many of you all are still thankful for the truth on this morning? Amen. Amen. The word of God says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. God's word is truth. Amen. The word of God never conflicts itself. If you ever want to start an argument, start talking about God's plan of salvation. We got people today giving you so many different responses as to what a person must do in order to be saved. Preachers today, after preaching sermons, are going to tell congregations many different things when they come to the altar. After preaching their armpits wet and with sweat, preaching with excitement and, and with conviction, at the end of the sermon, you will hear stuff like, give man your hand and guard your heart and for heaven, for heaven make a start. You're going to hear stuff like, let's repeat the sinner's prayer as I lead you. And I want to tell you something, you can't pray your way out of sin. You'll hear stuff like, just believe on the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. But I want to thank God on today for our pastor and our pastor emeritus, late Bishop Smith, who said, if there's a question, search the scriptures and demand a Bible answer. No thoughts, no opinions. Demand a Bible answer. Brother Ferdinand Hamilton III preached last Sunday on the subject, Jesus saves. Amen. And I want us today to, de to demand a Bible answer. Amen. Turn with me to the book of Mark, the 16th chapter. And I'm going to ask Minister Washington if he will assist me on the day with the reading. Mark 16, verses 14. Start with verse 14 and read through verse 16. But Mark 14 says, Mark 14, Mark 16, verses 14 through 16. Yes. Afterward, yes, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, mm -hmm. and upbraided them with their unbelief yes. and hardness of heart, yes, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. You see, he was seen. Amen. Amen. And he gave some specific instructions. Amen. Go tell my brethren. Amen. To meet me in Galilee. Amen. But, and so uh, he, he told them, I, I got to work for the apostles to do. Yeah. Amen. My disciples is 11 now because Judas hung himself. It was 12 disciples. But after he hung himself, now it's 11. Amen. So he said, go ye unto all the world. Yes. And preach the gospel. And preach the gospel. To every creature. To every creature. He that believeth. He and that baptized, believeth and is baptized. Shall be saved. Shall be saved. But he that believeth not. And he that believeth not. Shall be damned. There is a connection between baptism and being saved. People are still asking the question today. 
as it did in the book of Acts, the second chapter, verse 37, after Peter preached the first sermon on the day of Pentecost, the question was asked, men and brethren, what shall we do? Amen. Let's pick up in what Jesus said. We'll get to the answer in just a minute, but I want everybody to pay attention today because last week, Soon as service was over, by the time I got home, had visitors in the yard wanting to talk to me about the plan of salvation. And my question to them was simple. Brother Smokes, I asked him, how were you baptized? <laughs> Amen. Matthew 28 and 16. This was after Jesus was crucified, buried in a tomb, and was risen from the dead. Amen. Matthew 28 and 16. 28, verse 16. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee. Yes. Into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. He told them to meet me in Galilee. Mm-hmm. Right. And when they saw him. Yes. They worshipped They him. worshipped. But some doubt. Even when they saw him, some doubt it. Amen. Read. And Jesus came and speak unto them. Yes. Saying, All power is given unto me. All power. Look at that now. All power. I want to tell you something. I'm convinced on today that Jesus, I know he has all power, but he has power he hasn't used yet. Amen. There are some people in here who need to be healed. He's saving that power. Amen. There's some people who need to be delivered. Amen. He's going to use that power. He has what? All power. Not some power. All power. Read. In heaven and in earth. In heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore. Go ye therefore. And teach all nations. And teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Ghost. These were the instructions. Amen. These were the instructions. Amen. Teaching them to observe all things. Teaching them to observe all things. Whatsoever I have commanded you. Whatsoever I have commanded you. Yeah, lo. I am with you always. I'm with you always. Even until the end of the world. Into the end of the world. Look what Jesus said in verse 19. He said what? He said, baptizing them how in the name of the Father, and of the, the Son, Son, and, and of, of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Amen. Let me tell you something today. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are simple ti simply titles. Amen. I'm a father. Amen. But father is not my name. I'm a son. Yes. But son is not my name. Wow. I'm a husband. Amen. I fail to say I thank God for my wife today also. <laughs> Amen. But husband is not my name. Amen. I get tickled at work sometimes when the front office secretary, she would get on the walk and talk and say, I need a custodian in the front office. And we have seven. And guess what? <laughs> Nobody comes. <laughs> I get on the walk and talk and say, you got to call them by the name. <laughs> Amen. If you want them to come, call them by the name. <laughs> Amen. Let's put a name with these titles. Matthew 28, Matthew 18, I'm sorry, Matthew 1, 18 through 21. Let's put a name with the title. I want somebody's understanding to be open on today. Amen. Why we do what we do. Amen. Amen. Matthew 8. 1, 18 through 21. Read. Verse 18. Yes. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. Yes. When, as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Yes, sir. Before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Joseph had nothing to do with the birth of Jesus. He had nothing to do with this. This was ordained by God. Amen. Read. Then mm -hmm. Joseph, her husband, being a just man, yes, and not willing to make her public example, yes, sir, was minded to put her away privately. Yes. But while he thought on these things, mm -hmm. behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him yes. in a dream, uh -huh. saying, Joseph, 
Joseph. Thou son of David. Yes. Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. All right. Read. For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son. Look at this now. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Yes. We got the name of the son. Amen. Thou shall call his name. She Amen. shall bring forth a son. Yes. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. For Amen. he shall save his people. He shall save his people from their sins. Amen. Amen. The son's name is Jesus. And he had one purpose. And that was to save his people from their sin. Amen. Give me St. John 5.43. Amen. I love the word, don't you? Amen. Amen. The word of God makes sense to me. Amen. St. John, the fifth chapter. St. John 5, 43. I am come in my father's name. Yes. And you shall see, receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will see. That's right. I come in my father's name. Amen. Thank God the Lord blessed us with three children. Amen. And all three of them came in their father's name. Amen. They're not Funches. They're James. Amen. When CJ was born, they put a little blue tag on him. Baby boy James. Amen. Before we even gave him a first name or a middle name, Clifton Alexander, he had the last name James. Two years later, I blew a bouncing baby girl, Lillian Monique James. Michelle James. <laughs> Lillian Michelle James. Amen. She came in her father's name. Amen. That's right. Her name was baby girl James. And six years later, to our surprise, come another baby bouncing girl. Amen. She came in her father's name. Lillian Monique, Je Jessica Monique James. <laughs> Y'all no more came after that. <laughs> but they came in their father's name. Amen. Jesus came in his father's name. Amen. If you want to know the name of the father, the name of the father has to be Jesus. Amen. St. John 14, 26. We almost finished. Amen. St. John 14, 26. St. John 14th chapter, 26th verse. Yes. Reads, but the comforter. But the comforter. Which is the Holy Ghost. Which is the Holy Ghost. Whom the Father will send whom in my the name. the Father will send in my name. Wait a minute. Hold the rest for a second. Let me demonstrate something. You see, if I came down here and said, come shake my hand, deacon. That's right. But if I said, shake my hand, deacon Isaac. Look at it. He reached his hand out. Why? I called him by his what? Name. Shake my hand, Deacon Fields. I called him by his what? Name. Let me come to you, Deacon Hamilton. Praise the Lord. Shake my hand, Deacon Hamilton. He reached his hand out because I called him by his name. Anybody remember getting the Holy Ghost? How'd you get it? Did you call him by his name? Did you call him by his name? What's his name? Call him by his name. Call him by his name. When you call him by his name, he'll come. I tell you, if you call him right now, you'll feel his presence. Somebody ought to say Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. If there was any misunderstanding, Jesus cleared it up in the book of Luke 24. Give me the book of Luke 24th chapter. Begin with verse 44. Luke, 24th chapter. Yes. 44th verse. Yes, Luke. sir. And he said unto them. And he said unto them. These are the words. These are the words. Which I spake unto you. Yes. While I was yet with you. While I was yet with you. That all things that must all be fulfilled. all things must be fulfilled. Which was written in yes. the law of Moses. Yes. And in the prophets. In the prophets. And in the Psalms. In the Psalms. Concerning Hold me. it right there. The prophets prophesied of his coming. He said in Isaiah, Isaiah prophesied. He said, for unto us a child is born, a son is given, 
and he shall be called. Anybody know he's wonderful? Isn't his name wonderful? He shall, his name shall be called wonderful. Amen. Is there a witness on today? He should be counselor. Isn't he the best counselor you ever found? Amen. He should be the mighty God. Amen. No other God can do these things but the God we serve. He should be called everlasting father. Amen. The world of confusion, he's still the prince of peace. He said concerning the prophets and concerning the things that are written in the book of Psalms. Aunt Maud, I love when you get up and testify and when you say, oh, taste and see. This is what Psalms said. Oh, taste and see. That the Lord is good. <laughs> Amen. What does the book of Psalms say? The Psalms remind us that the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my light. He is my salvation. He is my strength. Thus it is written. Read, brother. Read on. Open he their understanding. Yes. That they may understand the scripture. That they may understand the scripture. And say it unto them. Yes. Thus it is written. Thus it is written. See, if you want it. Educators, you know it. If you want something done, you put it in writing. Amen. Amen. If you want it done, put it in writing. Amen. Amen. Thus it is written, saints. It's not what we heard. It's written. Thus it is written. And thus what? It behooved Christ. It behooved Christ to suffer. And to rise from the dead. And to rise from the, the dead day. the third day. And? And that repentance and remission of sins yes. shall be preached in his name. Yes. Among all nations. Among all nations. Beginning at Jerusalem. Amen. Amen. Peter had it right, saints. That's why Peter, after being filled with the Holy Ghost, preached with boldness on that day of Pentecost. Amen. People thought they were drunk. Yes, and he said, Yeah, we drunk, but not like you think we drunk. Oh, Right. It's just nine o'clock in the morning. Amen. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Amen. Anybody know? Anybody know something about that? This is that. Yes. Anybody know about the Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. Pick it up at the lateral part of Peter's sermon. Amen. Amen. Verse thirty-six of Acts, the second chapter. Look what he said. Amen. Acts. 36. Acts chapter second two. chapter, verse 36. Amen. This is just Praise a refresher course, saints. Amen. Amen. A refresher. But isn't it good to know? Isn't it wonderful to know the plan of salvation? Amen. He opened up our understanding. He opened up your understanding. Amen. Read. Therefore, therefore, let all the house of Israel let know Let all surely. the house of Israel know surely. That God had made that same Jesus. Let's talk about the same Jesus for a minute. <laughs> this same Jesus that took two fish and five loaves of bread and fed 5,000. The same Jesus that healed the sick, made the dumb to talk, made the crippled to walk, raised the dead. The same Jesus that walked on water. The same Jesus that turned water into wine. The same Jesus that healed broken hearts. Amen. He's the lifter of my head. Amen. This same Jesus, who's the healer of cancer, the healer of diabetes, the healer of heart disease, the same Jesus that make ways out of no way. Amen. When they heard about this same Jesus, when they heard about the same Jesus, what happened? Hallelujah. They were pricked in their heart. They were pricked in their heart. Somebody today ought to be pricked in your heart. Amen. Somebody want to know who this Jesus is. Read. I said unto Peter. Uh huh. And the rest of the apostles. Yes. Men and brethren. Men and brethren. What shall we do? What shall we do? Then Peter said unto them. Peter gave the answer. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. That's what everybody should be telling people today. Not, not say a sinner's prayer. Not give God your, uh, your heart and man your hand. All right. 
He, everybody should be given the same answer Peter gave. What must I do to be saved? What did Peter say? Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of In Jesus Christ. In the name Christ. of Jesus Christ. Now look at this is the only baptism with a promise. The only baptism with a promise. All right. And ye shall what? You receive. shall receive. You shall receive the gift of. I, I want to. I, I know we got some witnesses in here. Anybody been baptized in Jesus' name? Did anybody get filled with the Holy Ghost? This same Jesus. This same Jesus. I want to tell you something, saints. The God we serve, his name is Jesus. He's God on the mountain. He's still God. In the when things go wrong, he'll make them right. He's God. He's God. God of the good times. Still God in the bad times. He's God of the day. And God in the night. That's why we serve him. That's why we praise him. That's why we love him. Because he delivered us. He saved us. He saved our souls. And we ought to give him the praise. He's God. He's God. He's God.
Somebody want to come this morning? Is there one? I, I challenge you to try this Jesus. The same Jesus whom you crucified. The same Jesus that shed his blood on the cross of Calvary. The same Jesus stands ready to save right now. We have clothes for men and women, boys and girls. You can experience this joy that so many of us have experienced. Come to Jesus and try this God. He's going to be everything he says he's going to be. Amen. And if you have questions, we are here to talk with you. Our pastor is here, thank God, to be in here. Have a minister here. We've got many folks that can tell you through experience through experience. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. When things go wrong. Things go wrong. Yeah, make them right. At this time, it gives me great pleasure. Yes, Lord. It gives me great pleasure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. To see our pastor. Yes, Lord. As he come with our, continue our services in Jesus' name. Let's receive him with words of thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 